We've all had challenges that we face throughout our lives, and today we are talking to a young woman who has really triumphed over her own tough challenges in her life. Steph Fernandez is blind and right now pursuing her law degree. Doug Spry right next to her is the director of communications for Learning Ally. It's an organization making success like this possible. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Steph, I want to start with you because right now, let me just brag about you. Reading up on you, I'm, I'm very impressed. You uh, graduated with honors from Boston College with a 3.93 GPA, right now pursue, pursuing your law degree at Ohio State. Awesome. Thank you so much. A lot on your plate. A little bit. How do you do it? You know what, I think part of it is honestly just figuring out what works and what doesn't. And um, if you think about it, print is a part of your life, I'm sure, a lot. Mm -hmm. Whether going to the grocery store, looking at price tags, um, making lists, reading textbooks. And so for me personally, um, organizations like Learning Ally have made that possible just for giving me access to things. Um, I remember back in the fourth grade, I wanted to become in the gifted program and they had a hard time imagining a 10 year old blind girl doing physics and chem 2 and calculus and of course it's hard to imagine any fourth grader. What they tell you? They, they say that they, can't happen. Uh, they actually denied me admission to the gifted program. Really? And uh, my parents were very feisty. My mom is a teacher and my dad's a machinist by trade and they told me that if it was something I really wanted to pursue they would fight on my behalf and that really motivated me to go into law and really pay forward the advocacy I received from my family and my community to give it to others. That is awesome. A great story and here you are now with all your accomplishments. Thank you. And Doug, the organization that I just mentioned is really very instrumental in helping people like Steph move forward in their lives, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all about bringing books to life for people like Steph who have a reading disability. They've got their life dreams ahead of them. They've got goals. They want to enter the workplace and become assets to society. And we're here to help them level the education playing field. How far do you think your organization has come from when it began to now as far as helping people reach their fullest potential? Oh, getting jobs just like everyone else can. It's come such a distance. I mean, it was 1948. We were serving young men coming back from World War II who were blinded and they wanted to go to college. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you go to college if you can't read? So we had volunteers re reading and recording their books for these young men. Well, today, decades later, we're serving those types of people, but also hundreds of thousands of others who have a whole spectrum of reading disabilities, from visual impairment to dyslexia and learning dis disabilities and so forth. And the common denominator, again, is just making learning accessible for them because they're very bright, they're very talented, and they just need a different way to learn. And so many years ago, as you said, the organization being founded in the 40s, during and after the war, people were just thought, well, you can't do anything. That's right. And, um, and then also in those days, it was constrained by technology. Mm -hmm. You know, it started off on uh, acetate and, and tape cassette tape, CD. Now the books are downloadable. You can play them on your iPad. We've come so far. <laughs> your you iPod. Don't need, you don't need a backpack of books, you know? <laughs> right. That's <laughs> the kids right. these days are like, what's a textbook? Yeah. <laughs> well, Steph, you're in law school now. Um, what was the reaction when you switched schools? You finished undergrad and you went to law school. Did, yeah. you, did you get any negative reaction with, wow, what does she think she's doing? Can she do this? I think, honestly, the hardest part for me was transitioning from high school to college. Uh -huh. uh, just because the textbooks are a lot fewer, there's sadly not very many people with disabilities who end up becoming into higher ed and we just dwindle as the education gets higher and higher, just like every other sector of, of society. And so uh, that was honestly the hardest part for me. But like I said, I have a fantastic support system, um, which has been such a it blessing for like me. You really and do. It's just neat to be able to take what was given to me and work. I really interested in children in particular. And so for bringing advocacy for children what they need for success, whether that be what I needed or what some you know completely different resource, but bringing that to them. I hear you have some big goals, some nice plans to, as you said, pay it forward. Tell us a little bit about your plans after getting your law degree. Sure, um, I definitely want to work in a public interest sector. I am really interested, like I said, in education um, and with children in particular, but also with families, just because my family was so instrumental for me. So working with those, um, and I will be back in. DC this summer with my law school program so it'll be neat to be back in the Capitol again to yeah work on that so. just a little busy just a little busy between law school and this Doug if people want to get involved even employers that's my big question because a lot of places want to help out but they wonder how they can what would you recommend they can donate they can volunteer they can step up to help us 
increase awareness around the country about the need for accessible materials for talented people like Steph and, and millions, literally millions of others like her. Uh, in the corporate world, employers, we're actually uh, interfacing with them now. Their, their employees are actually volunteering for us, you know, bringing books to life mm -hmm. uh, by recording and by reading captions and textbooks that blind students need to hear. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to get involved. LearningAlly.org is where they can go. Okay, go visit their website. It's great to hear about this growth in your organization. Thank great you. work you're doing. Doug, thanks for being here. And Steph, you as well. Thank you, got you it. so much.